Hi, Julian. It's great to see you, and thank you so much for agreeing to do this with us. Nice to see you too, Stephen. I hear you're out on the coast, the west coast, that is, the left side. I am on the left side, the normally the wet coast, but right now, well, Victoria is a weird place. It's a little rain shadow, so it's... um. What a place to spend a pandemic, honestly. I can't I can't tell you how lovely it is to be here. That's great. I mean, yeah. I've got family out there myself. They love Victoria. And, yeah. you know, it's really cool to be able to do this. When uh, I was asked, I was like, Stephen Fearing, of course. I mean, when Kings of Love came out, I was all over that. Uh, we listened to that in my buddy's truck, the bass player for Stephen Crossing, and we listened to that double record nonstop. In fact, nice. I was listening to John Martin uh, last night. One of my heroes. I, I, One of my absolute heroes. Yeah, yeah. Of course, Kings of Love has a "Don't Want to Know" on it. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So you you were on tour just before this hit. Yes. Um, you were in the UK or was it Europe? I was in uh, the UK, Europe. Uh, I was over. Uh, uh, I finished the the sort of the by flying to Toronto and doing a bunch of dates with the Rodeo Kings. Right. And then flew home and was going to have a couple of weeks off and you know. And everybody knows what happened next. Um, I Tell think. Me, that, <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> so, well, the the reason the reason this whole the the nut of this whole project is there's an organization called the Unison Benevolent Fund, and they provide emergency relief services to the Canadian music industry, which is basically funding, counseling, any kind of situation that you can imagine. And and of course, before the pandemic, that was you know that was sort of one of the I don't know if it was that secret, but it was certainly one of the the aspects that we all knew about, which is people people lose their marbles in this industry because the stress levels are so high. Yeah. And um, now, in some ways, it is a great unifier because we're all in the same boat. Everybody from Bruce Springsteen and Roseanne Cash down to you and I. I shouldn't put you in the same boat because you're currently you're you're busy with your with your new album and rightfully so. But uh, we're all in this in this position. We're all sort of going through the same thing. Exactly. But again, we're the we're the live face of it. And there's the lighting crews and the agents and the sound people and all those people. Where do they go? So that's what Unison Benevolent does: is it looks out for professionals in the music industry and makes sure that there's somewhere to go in tough times. Yeah, they're the calls that they have received their basically requests for services have risen by 3,500% in the last couple of months. 3,500% in the last couple of months. I do so, my best to support the uh, fund when I, when it, if, if I've done a gig and I've done a few live streams, I've done, I've taken a tip jar and I've donated some to the Unison Benevolent Fund and as well as certainly the Daily Bread Food Bank. Um, yeah. It's basically spiked because everybody is, well, you know, people are really caught. I, I know there was a great concern that the CERB wasn't going to be uh, applicable to us. It is. It is. Yeah. At least we're all going to find out in a couple of, in a year. Um, but I, yeah, it is. But still, it's it's you know, it, it it doesn't it doesn't cover a, a lot of things. Anyway, so I thought, okay, what can I do? What can I do from my little office here with my you know with my AKG four fourteen and my little USB mixing board. It, it was great, Mike. Um, I just thought if, if I could record this a song, and the song, the idea for the song came about because I, I, had, I had tweeted out that these were really hard times, and a friend of mine, Eric Rosenbaum, suggested that that would be a great song to record, and got me thinking. So I thought it would be fun. And again, I go back to Mitch to do a very old school folk version with um, some of the sort of usual suspects like so James. Who on the Pardon me. Who's on the record with you then? Uh, James Keelahan, Sherry Ulrich, and Connie Calder, all people that I really admired, and they're old friends and colleagues that on any given summer, we would be crossing paths at the festivals. Sure. And so I just recorded a bed track and uh, and sent it out, and everybody added their vocals, and Connie added piano, and Alexi Campagna, her son, who is an amazing violinist, added stuff. And then we recorded ourselves um, through the cameras, uh, lip syncing. Wow. At least, I think I was lip syncing. Sherry Elric, I think, did it all live because she's got the technology down. And then it went off to a, an editor, Grant Nolan, at Five Foot Five, and so on. So the idea is that we're going to present this video and this edited interview <laughs> as a as a way to kind of hit people to the idea that 
A, that, that the music industry is something that I think people have realized um, that they really rely on. It's funny because it, in, <clears throat> in tough times, like when 9-11 happened, I remember thinking that my job was the stupidest job in the world <clears throat> and the most unimportant job in the world. And it's easy to feel like that because we're not exactly, you know, first responders here. But uh, I've, I've since had enough people tell me that, that through this, um, you know, lockdown, music has been very important to them. And so the idea of kind of bringing to people's attention how many other people are involved in something that, that we are the face of, you and I are the face of, mm-hmm. and, uh, and, and how they can help. Because um, I believe that, that uh, Unison yeah. is funded by other agencies and uh, other people will match funds that come in. So just see if we can raise some awareness, but raise some money. Because there's a lot of people need it right now in this business. Well, the, yeah, the Unison, Benevolent Fund, uh, the Unison Benevolent Fund does take donations. You go to their website and you can donate. And your donation uh, will help someone who is part of the industry, whether that is somebody behind the scenes or a musician. Uh, yeah. It, it all gets, you know, they're doing a great job. And they're doing a great job. Um, any kind of an organization that you can phone up and somebody will actually you know, understand what's going on and maybe offer you some solutions. Um, that is something that I want to support. And I, I believe that I believe that the audience wants to as well. I've been incredibly blown away by people's generosity. And so this is a way that they can directly support it or they can help by doing things like share the links on their socials, spread the word. There's, there's That's one of the great things about the the internet and what's going on right now, we can actually turn something as organic and grassroots as a video recorded, you know, in people's iPhones, um, and 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 actually do something significant with it if enough people get behind it. So that's yeah. what I'm hoping will happen. Well, hold on to hope. That's the yeah. That's a good start. Yeah. Let us pause in life's pleasures and count its many tears while we all sub sorrow with the poor. There's a song that will linger forever in our ears. All oh, hard times come again. Is the song the sigh of the weary? Hard times, hard times come again no more. Many days you have lingered around my cabin door. Oh, hard. We seek mirth and beauty and music bright and gay. There are frail forms fainting at the door. Though their voices are silent, their pleading looks will say, Oh, hard times come again. Is the song the sigh of the weary? Hard times, hard times come again no more. Many days you have lingered around my cabin door. Oh, hard times come again no more. There's a pale, drooping maiden who toils her life away with a worn heart whose better days are o'er. Though her voice would be made. 
Mary is sighing all the day. Oh, hard times come again no more. Tis the song, the sigh of the weary. Hard times, hard times come again. Again, no more. Tis a sigh that is wafted across the troubled wave. Tis a wave that is heard upon the shore. Tis a dirge that is murmured around the lonely grave. Oh, hard times. No more. Tis the song, the sigh of the weary. Hard times, hard times come again no more. Many days you have lingered around my cabin door. Again no more